welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at Huron's formula. And this is a formula to find the area of a triangle where you don't know the altitude, but you do know the three sides. So here's our example. We have sides of 5, 6, and 7 in a triangle, but we don't have an altitude and we don't have a way to find an altitude. So I'm going to share with you the formula and then I'm going to run through the, an example of it. Okay. Huron's formula is used when you have a triangle with an unknown altitude, but you know all three sides. Okay, your first step, or step one, is going to be to find what we call S. S is the variable that we're going to add all three sides up and then divide by two. So it's not dividing by three, so it's not averaging the sides. You add the three sides up and divide by two. Then you take that S and you plug it into the formula as follows, you take the square root of s, which is this number you're finding, times s minus a, and a is the first side, and then at times s minus b, b is the second side, times s minus c, which is the third side. It looks complicated, but it's really pretty easy. You multiply out that all together, and then you take the square root of it, and that is how you find the area of a triangle. So let's work this one out. Okay, the first step is to find s. So I have to take a plus b plus c, and I'm just going to call 5a, 6b, and 7c. I'm going to add those up and divide by 2. When I add those up, I get 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. So 9 is my magic s. Now let's plug it into the formula. I'm going to take s, which is 9, times s minus a which is 9 minus a, which is 9 minus 5, and then 9 minus b, which is 6, and 9 minus c, which is 7. So I'm finding the difference between s and each of these three sides. So I'm going to take 9 times 9 minus 5 is 4, 9 minus 6 is 3, and 9 minus 7 is 2. Now when I multiply this all together, I get 216. So I have to take the square root of 216. So grab your handy dandy calculator, and I've already done this. So the square root of 216 is 14.6969, or you could probably just round that off to 14.7 square units. We don't have any units on it, so we're just going to call that square units. And that is how you use Huron's formula to find the area 